Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, so I'm just like sitting down, I have my lunch, having a good old time, and they go and show us Lucario V. Now, we do know there are nine V starter decks that are going to be coming out in Japan in the not-too-distant future. And we also know now that they're all going to be new. We suspected they were going to be new. We know that we are getting a Mew. And we know that we're getting a Galarian Slowbro V. So that kind of clued us into the fact that we were probably getting new Vs. But we hadn't had it confirmed that they were coming in these V decks. Though we suspect quite strongly. But now that they've gone and shown us Lucario V. Essentially, either they're all new or only some of them are new, and only some of them being new makes no sense. So we've got a bunch of new Pokemon V which are going to be leaking over the next few days and weeks, and we start off with Lucario V. Now, it's a fighting Pokemon V, we're getting one of every type, and it's got 210 HP. Now, if we compare this to your other fighting Pokemon V, think things along the lines of Stone Journer, it's a little bit lower, because Stone Journer's rocking 220. And then we've obviously got Regirock, which at 220 is a little bit lower. And Sandaconda, which at 220 means Lucario is a little bit lower. We've actually seen three Pokemon V that are fighting type. And they've all had 10 more HP. Ah, oh, sorry Lucario. Now, in terms of a retreat cost here, we are rocking a retreat cost of we have absolutely no idea. We don't know. The retreat cost is covered. We do not have a complete unobstructed look at the card. Having said that, if we look at things like Lucario GX, it's got a retreat cost of two. And Lucario generally has a retreat cost of one or two. But the chase cards like this often are a little bit higher. So I'm going to assume it's a retreat cost of two. Which means, for what it's worth, the EX also had a retreat cost of two. So that means we're going to have free retreat with Air Balloon. And that's pretty nice. We have a weakness to Psychic here. Again, we're not actually shown that it's a weakness to Psychic, but it's a fighting type. Fighting types, as opposed to Ground and Rock, do have a weakness to Psychic, which means it's going to be weak to stuff like Mewtwo and Mew, for instance, which is um, arguably not ideal. That one's still pretty gosh darn good. And, of course, Dragapult, which is everywhere right now. So, yeah, this is actually a really bad weakness. Uh, psychic, there's some good psychic decks around at the moment. So it's not looking ideal. You are a fighting Pokemon. Now, by the time we get this, we're probably going to have lost Dianti Prism Star to do the extra 10 damage. Sorry, 20 damage. But we are still going to have Martial Arts Dojo for the extra 10 40 of you are behind on prizes, if you're using basic fighting energy. And Karate Belt, if you're behind on prizes, will still reduce your attack cost by one fighting energy. So it's not all bad. And let's remember that you're hitting weakness on Pikachu and Zekrom and Dedenne now. But you're hitting weakness on Eternatus, VMAX and Crobat by the time this card comes out i.e. best attacker now, best upcoming attacker, best support Pokemon now, best upcoming support Pokemon. That is a handy list of weaknesses to be hitting. So after all of that, what does it do? Well, the first attack, one fighting energy, 40 damage to the active, plus 20 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And this is all right. This is very reminiscent of attacks like Manectrix attack. Manectrix overrun did 20 to your opponent's active and 20 to one of their bench. And even a little bit more recently than that, we had Xerneas GX that came in doing for one energy, 20 to the active, 20 to one of your opponent's bench. Now, this is a colored energy fighting rather than colorless. But it still does a decent amount of damage. It, it's all right. And look, 40 to the active is nice. Now, it, it's a bit of a shame that Ditto Prism Star is going to be gone. Because it will be a great KO on Ditto. There are ways to make this work. I mean, if you're behind on prizes, then Martial Arts Dojo means you're doing 80 to the active, 20 to the bench. So you're taking out something like a Jirachi while spreading a bit of damage, which is cool. And if you're hitting for weakness, I mean... If you're behind on prizes, this will actually KO a Dedenne with a Martial Arts Dojo. 
80 doubled is 160. If you want Crobat, you're going to need 90 doubled to 180, but Vitality Band will do it. And if you're taking a KO on a Dene or a Crobat, taking two prizes while spreading a bit of damage to the bench, I mean, this, this is good. This is very good. Now, it is just 40 base. 40 doesn't actually KO anything. Doesn't get most... I mean, if you're weak, yes. Doesn't get most evolving Pokemon in weak support Pokemon like Jirachi, etc. So you're either spreading a bit of damage around, or you're taking KOs on small, weak Pokemon. Literally weak, and then weak to fighting. Or you're behind on prizes using Martial Arts Dojo, and you're actually building it up in a very impressive way. And if you're telling me I can get a KO on a Dedenne or a Crobat for a single energy on a basic Pokemon. Yes! And I don't think you need to necessarily have a Lucario deck to do this. Play any fighting deck, because you'll probably be playing Martial Arts Dojo anyway. Oh, I'm behind on prizes. Boom, Lucario, single energy, smash, two prizes. That sounds good to me, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds pretty good to me. And let's face it, Regirock doesn't have a single energy attack. To be fair, Stonejourner actually does. Stonejourner does 40 damage for a single energy and reduces damage done by 20 next turn. So that is probably your, um, your main competition here. For what it's worth, Sandaconda also has a single energy attack. 30 damage plus attach an energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. But 30 isn't really enough to be getting those two prizes. You need to be hitting 40. So the question is whether you want 20 damage to the bench with Lucario or reducing damage done to you by next turn while having an extra 10 HP with Stone Journer. Also very, very relevant that they have different weaknesses and that Lucario gets free retreat with an air balloon, meaning you can use Lucario and then get it out the active easily, which is not an option you're necessarily going to have with Stone Journer. Now, there is a second attack here, and we don't know exactly what it does. We, I should mention our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet. Lovely person. Nothing but nice things to say. <laughs> We're getting a bit of rhyming going on. Uh, free energy, and you cannot use it next turn. How much damage does it do? I'm saying 190. Now, it's clearly 100 and something, and we can see the top left of the letter, which looks like an 8 or a 9. I think it's a 9. Now, partly this is just the look of it, but partly if we compare it to other similar Pokemon, Stone Journey V does 150 with no downside. Regirock V does 190, but then does 30 damage to itself. Sandaconda does 220 and discards 2 energy. So they can't use it next turn for free energy. We're generally looking at about 190. It might be 180. There is no way it is down as low as 120 or 130. 140, 150, 160 would not fit with what we see here. 170 wouldn't fit. It has to be 180 or 190. I'm assuming it's 190. That is my guess here. Now, the good news is, whether it's 180 or 190, you are easily getting a one-hit KO on Eternatus V Max. That's good. You are easily getting a one-hit KO on Pikachu and Zekrom. That's good. So when you're hitting for weakness, you are rolling with this attack. When you're not hitting for weakness, things get a little bit more interesting. Let's say we've got a Victini V. Good Pokemon expecting it to see play. 190 HP. So if this does 180, you're not KOing. If it does 190, you are. But what see I hear you say? You've already mentioned Vitality Band in this video. Why not mention it again? Yes. But what about Ninetales V? If I'm doing 190, then with a Vitality Band, I get Ninetales V. But if I'm doing 180 with a Vitality Band, I'm a little bit short. But what see I hear you say? What about Galarian Zigzagoon? And I say, come on, you're getting a little bit silly now. You, yes, you can, but come on. You're getting into awkward territory. My point here is, what you're getting with this attack, almost certainly, you're getting weak Pokemon, you're getting single prize Pokemon, and you're getting the lower HP Pokemon Vs and GXs. You're not getting something like... Well, I would say you're not getting Zashian, but that's not necessarily true. 
If you're behind on prizes and you have a martial arts dojo, you're doing 220 or 230. I think 230. Either way, Zashin is going down here. So that's quite nice. But then again, once you start getting into V-Maxes and tag teams, you're done. To be fair, if this is 190 as I think it is, the biggest Pokemon Vs we've seen so far are ones like Zamazenta with 230. Behind on prizes with a martial arts dojo, you are getting them here. Which is nice. But in terms of V-Maxes and most tag teams, you are out of range. And we do need to talk about the attack cost before we finish here. You see, Regirox is almost no play because the attack cost is too awkward. Sandaconda sees almost no play because the attack cost is too awkward. Stonejourner actually does see a bit of play, but the difference with Stonejourner is it can tank because of the first attack on Stonejourner V, because of the healing attack on Stonejourner V Max. Attach a fighting energy from your hand and heal 120. Because of the gigantic HP and the fact it's got a V Max, etc. And we do just attach manually. We have the option of Colossal here. It attaches a fighting energy and a fire energy. And this is two fighting, one colorless. So you attach the fire and the fighting, and then you attach a fighting from your hand and you're rolling. But colossal decks have been legal for a couple of weeks now, and people aren't playing colossal decks. So where does that leave us with Lucario? We technically don't know the attack cost, the retreat cost, or the weakness. But it's got a retreat of two, it's got a weakness to psychic, and it does 190. I feel pretty good about that. And I think it's a good Pokemon. I like it way more for the first attack than I do the second. I still think the second attack is too expensive like we've seen from other fighting Vs. But I do think there is a lot to like here. And I do think that because we're moving into a format, right, where fighting weakness is the best one to hit. This is one to keep an eye on. For now, I'm giving it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. But I could see it being a way better Pokemon than that. But I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Get up. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wassie. And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are pretty gosh darned awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.